It's not about motivation. When is need discipline? Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Let's go Boxing King Media in association with Boxro, uh, the White Rhino, Dave Allen. Uh, are we calling this the second coming? It can't be the second coming, third coming, fourth coming? It's not even a comeback, to be honest. I've just not boxed for seven months, so there ain't no comebacks. Um, it's just like it's just been hard to get it's just been hard to get fights to be honest um in the own corner opponents cost a fortune you know because i've been on the telly a lot cost a fortune you know you're looking at 15 grand for six rounders just impossible to sell. 15 grand yeah i've asked a few opponents 15 grand for six rounds they've also got offered for a nine for a four round or nine grand a german fellow wanted nine grand for a four round it's not plausible you're not going to sell that many tickets uh in a, you know in small old boxing, it's it's impossible. So uh, got an opponent in tonight, a domestic one, and just just try to enjoy it and box and do the four rounds. Because being completely honest, I'm not sure when I'll box again. So just made the most of it, enjoyed it, feel like I box all right, and uh, and hopefully move on to the next one pretty soon. I'm gonna to come to the lady behind you in a minute because people are wondering who's this random girl sat in the background. But you had Betty and George on your shorts. Have you fought in them shorts before? Uh, last time. Uh, George weren't born last time, so... I can't remember George being on yeah, there. Yeah, so... Yeah, the kids are watching at home. Um, yeah, Betty understands it. I'm not sure, not yet. She might have recognised when I come on the telly, but... Um, but, yeah. Uh, what, what do you think she'll be saying watching that? She's just shouting Dadda at the telly. That's what, that's the point right now. Shouts Dadda, shouts uh, colours and shapes, and... Uh, yeah, she's amazing. So, uh, so yeah, she's watching at home, and... Yeah, just, I'm just happy to, to come back with a win and hopefully now we can see what's next and hopefully get out, you know, eight, eight ten weeks and I can lose a bit more weight. And it, you know what, boxing at the minute is me the impetus to keep in shape and keep fit. It's good. Most people are always going to say to you, Dave, why don't you do this weight loss thing longer than 30 days? Why doesn't Dave Allen just do that all year round and you might achieve your potential? Yeah. What do you say to the people? Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, I've uh, 41 days clean, not from drugs or nothing, from uh, junk food and fizzy pop, but... 41 days I've done I've done it pretty easily but it's not always been that easily it's like uh, I've met, the thing is people moan at me but I've never I've never shied away from what I am I've never said I'm anything that I'm not so uh, I understand it's frustrating but uh, I am what I am um, what is that I'm just a normal guy really I look at Anthony Joshua and others and I just think how the fuck do you live like that all year round I, I, I admire him but I'm not built the same you know I'm different I'm uh, I'm me so but, but I've done really well the last 41 days and hopefully another 41 box again, get another win and hopefully start to get in the shape I need to be in to, to creep back towards the British title shot. That's, that's the end goal. Uh, whether I can do that, I'm not sure, but, uh, but I'd like to have a go at it. I know you can definitely do it because I saw you against Lenroy Thomas, the fight that never happened. You was in unreal shape. You look solid all round, not just like, you know, your arms and your biceps. Yeah. Yeah, I've had some bad luck when I've got, every time I've got in shape, I've had bad luck, to be honest, pull outs, cut eyes, all sorts. So I think I've got in proper shape four times, like proper, proper nick. I was under 17 stone, cut eye one of them and three pull outs. So maybe that, maybe that's uh, karma for, for not living the life all the time. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just someone's way of saying, fuck you. But, um, but I can't complain. I've had a great career and, uh, you know, I want to have one last go at it because I want to box for as long as I'm able, but, uh, well, yeah, hope, hopefully I can uh, I can get a British title shot at some point down the line. you name dropping the British title. I think some people were mentioning your name alongside Johnny Fisher recently as well. Is there much truth in that? Could that happen next? Or are you going to wait for Fabio to give up that belt? Yes, it, the fish fights we talked about, but it's a loads of fights for me, but I don't feel like I could beat any of them anytime soon. Um, when, I, when I had a little bit of time we had them move, I realised you can't just have eight weeks and be ready. You know, you need eight months, 12 months, 18 months, so... I'm in, a I'm in a position now where I can, uh, you know, take my time, um, train hard, and uh, who knows? I, I know for a fact I've got the talent to to mix it around that level, but um, I've got to keep living. I'm not going to lie to myself, and also I'm not going to embarrass myself like I did with the Clark fight again. That's not going to happen again. So if I'm not if I'm not ready, fit, and able to perform at that British title level, you won't see me because I'm not getting beat. I'm not getting. I'm not doing that again. I weren't going to mention that 300k against Dubois. Yeah, yeah, no. You know what it is? It's, uh, it's life, you know. I can't complain with boxing. Like, the money I made in boxing, I could never have dreamt of. And the things I've done, I could never have dreamt of. So, you know, certain things happen 
Uh, but I'd never hold grudges, and I, and I never, and I don't even think about them. I've been very fortunate, really. So it would be, it would be wrong of me to sit here and complain with the luck that I've had. And anyone who thinks he can make bridge away, do you want to tell them whether you can or you can't? Um, I'm three stone off exactly today. I possibly could, yeah, possibly could with a, you know, everyone does weight cuts. It's unheard of at every weight, but, I, but, but with a cut, it's possible, yeah. So, you know, you have got the, the Fisher fight and, you know, Wardley and Clark, if I can put myself in position for the British title. Uh, and there's Babbage at Bridge away. There's loads of options for me. There's, there's loads of options, and loads of options get talked about all the time as well. People think I'm, I get off huge fights. I get talked about all the time. But uh, I don't take them. People think, oh, it's all about the money. It's not, because it was all about the money. I'd be retired by now, and, I'd, and I wouldn't be able to talk, because I could have took every fight that was offered, and I'd be a multimillionaire. But I, uh, I'm not in, I, I genuinely want to win. I genuinely always want to win. I genuinely always try to win. But, uh, but, um, but yeah, well, I'm in the position I'm in right now, and I'm over the moon with it. That's good to hear. That's your mentality, Dave. Tell, everyone's going to be wondering, who's this random girl with glasses on sat in the background? Um, I understand she can fight. <laughs> yeah, it's Sam Lightfoot. She boxes at Amanda Boxing Academy with Rod Sampson and Gary Wilson. And uh, she's just, uh, just got the Yorkshire final, the ABAs, and uh, she's good. She was Stevie Levy's sparring partner for a European title win. I bought her a pair of gloves, which, which makes me part of the team, I understand. So, uh, so yeah. I just want to get on. Do you want to ask me something? I'll let you know. Sam, tell everyone about yourself. Well, I'm Sam Lightfoot, 21 year old from Sheffield. And I've had uh, 23 fights now, I think, in amateur amateur um, boxing. And I've I've won. I've got a 50 50 record. And I just want to see how far I get in pro gaming. I'm going to turn over in about two more years. Get as many fights as possible as an amateur first. Yeah, I just want to see if anyone wants to sponsor her because I don't want to. I don't want to buy any more gloves for her. <laughs> That's why she's here. Does anyone want to take over and be some sponsored? Because it'd be nice. I've got kids to feed. If anyone can get this lady a pair of gloves, slide into uh, our Instagram. But what's uh, what ounce gloves do you wear? Well, um, Right, for laced up, strapped up. Right, she wants laced fourteen ounce gloves. There's, is there any special women's gloves? Are there any? You never know, there might be somebody out there, Dave Allen fan might do it. I I, I bought some Phenom ones, so we'd, we'd probably, what, it was like Rival maybe? Yeah, Rival, Rival. Yeah, Edgar, Protector, uh, <laughs> anything really. Just give her loads of money so she could back a job in and train full time. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I really need a sponsor. Yeah, um, I forgot it actually. It's Sam Lightfoot. Sam Lightfoot, you can't forget it. Light Sam Lightfoot. Lightfoot, oh, she's got light feet then, right? Dave, appreciate your time. Anything else before you go? Uh, not really, no. Just a big thanks to everyone that's made it to the end of this. And uh, I hopefully see you all soon. Dave Allen, thank you very much. Thank you. Win gold now. IPMB is giving away 524 karat gold coins to our token holders worth over $2,000 each. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, great news. It's amazing. It's never been easier to own gold, so join the raffle now. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.